Hello everyone, uh, this is Woody Adams here. We're going to be going over inventory assemblies and how they're set up within QuickBooks. Now, of course, Pro doesn't have assemblies, you guys all know, it's just in Premiere and Enterprise levels. And even if they're using Enterprise and they have warehouse management, granted in warehouse management the inventory is tracked there and taken care of there and you can build the assembly there, but we still have to create the actual assembly item. Okay, and then I'm in Premiere, so I'm going to be able to build it within QuickBooks. So I'm going to start off with my item list. I have my item list there, and I have some inventory parts. Now, I, I don't need just to put inventory parts on the assembly. I can put service items, other charge, uh, non-inventory part. All that can be a part of the assembly. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and look at an assembly I just created. It's a U of A championship uh, package there. We're going to edit that, and let's see what it looks like. <clears throat> so here is uh, the name. Of course, I can use unit of measure, my COGS account, and the cost, the sale price, and then, of course, the cost from the bill of materials. Um, that is what is used for the average cost um, from the cost of the bill of materials. So here are all the materials that I have. I have uh, you know, a, a beer mug, a hat, a t-shirt, and then a uh, non-inventory part for operating supplies, and then a, a, a service, a commercial add-on sales. We're not even sure what that, that actually is for, but again, it's on there. It's like part of the, uh, of the package. Now, I can edit the item right at this level or I can even do a full view to look at the bill of materials I can as well uh, print it out if I want to for uh, records so we actually have the assembly item set up now let's go build it so I don't have any quantity on hand and my bill points one so I need to I know I have to go ahead and create the actual assemble and the assembly and what you do is you build it so under the vendors menu we go to inventory activities and build assemblies now right here you need to choose, I'm sure you've all seen this assembly window before, choose your U of A championship package, right? And those are all the parts that are there including my non-inventory and my service uh, item as well as part of the assembly. So I can choose, based on my maximum number, uh, what I have in inventory, of course, based on the quantity of my inventory parts or my indiv individual parts that make up the assembly, that'll determine how many of the actual builds I can I can go ahead and build. So the maximum number I can build from this quantity would be one. Right? So if I did two though and I, I tabbed out of there it's gonna offer me to mark it as pending. Right? And then you can go to your reports, inventory, and then pending builds once you fulfill whatever quantity that it is not there that, that it needs. But right now it's uh, not pending. I'm just gonna do uh, one. So I can go ahead and create it and since it says pending you can also mark build as final so if it is a pending build you come into the edit menu you pull it up through that report and then mark build as final and then, and then build and close that's what you'll see so I have one here and there is the build now I want to go to the item list real quick and look for that assembly and do a quick report on it and look at the build if we do a control Y just to show what happened behind the scenes with it um, and what was debited and credited. Okay, so debited was the inventory asset, right, for the package itself, and then credited was the inventory asset for all of its uh, subcomponents that make up that package. So the inventory asset gets credited, those inventory parts are lessened as they're uh, made part of the build. It's almost like we sold it, but not really because COGS was not affected. So now let's go ahead and sell it. I'm going to go to Window Close All. And then we're going to put it on an invoice. Choose a particular customer, and they're going to—they're excited about the U of A victory. And they're going to go to the championship package. Now, this another great piece with the Premier and Enterprise level. This would not be in Pro. Is this current availability icon? I'm sure you guys have seen that and know about that. You click on that. The quantity available is one, so I can go ahead and sell it. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the one, or you just leave it blank. It would know it's one, and that's $75 for me. And then let's go look at the actual center and look at the invoice and do a control Y on this one or just the journal report. Now COGS is affected now. Okay, COGS is not affected during the build. It's affected when you sell it, obviously. And then we have, uh, you know, AR is debited. Uh, the championship income is credited, obviously. And then inventory asset is credited the $25 and then COGS is debited the $25. So that is essentially uh, Building an assembly, you got to have its component parts, and it doesn't have to just be inventory parts. It can be inventory, it can be service, non-inventory, other charge. But we, for at least for the inventory, you got to have adequate quantity in order to build the assembly. If you don't have it, you can mark it as pending, and then you can go back and mark it as final, and then finally sell it. I hope that helps, and you guys have a great day.